G'day guys, welcome to another Puma Adventures video. In this video we're going to be actually doing a Bramac double diaphragm brake booster upgrade. As we know these things don't stop that well, especially when you put a bit of weight in them. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, check out the install video. Cheers. Oh. Okay, so we've got the brake booster and the instructions. The brake booster comes with a brand new gasket as well. We just went out before and done the um, brake testing, uh, which is interesting. That's the booster there, you gasket. It's just there. Comes with all you nuts and, and that, the only thing that you have to change is the little is the little adapter on the top that goes to the brake pedal and lock it into place but you have to measure that to make sure you got it at the right height as well. Anyway, no use talking about it, we might as well get into it. Alright, first step is to disconnect the uh, vacuum line which is just here, there's just a little clamp that you can use a pair of pliers and there's the brake booster nut just down here, that's a 12mm nut and the ABS um, bracket, there's two bolts, one there and one just below it. That, they're both 12 mils as well, so it's nice and easy. So we get in and do that. You should hear a bit of a hiss. Like that. Now it's time to do the 12 mil socket and the 12 mil nut on the brake booster. I actually thought that would be a lot tighter than that. Now the ABS bracket. So right now what we're doing is just pulling the booster back. The ABS bracket's on there so be careful as well. It all comes off as one piece. Of course, I'm not quite tall enough, which makes it hard. All right, so that's pulled back to, I think, where I need it. If need be, I'll pull it back a bit further. Yeah, it's disconnected. Okay, in this step here, you've got the spring here. you just got to disconnect that, which I have to do off camera. And there's a little, little pin in there that you just have to take off as well. Just up here. And here, you should be able to see, right, just there, you should be able to see another and bolt. There's one on here and there's one above, two above as well. So you just got to undo those, they're 12 mils as well. And then the boost is ready to come out. So you just have here, the actual brake boost is disconnected and all the nuts and bolts are undone off that backing plate, which you can't really see. Okay, as for hardware, what's left? what we removed you got your spring that goes on the brake pedal that there actually goes into there there's also a locking pin that just snaps into there and that keeps that in, in place that goes on your actual brake pedal actually these three 12 wheels are actually off your master cylinder in there on the firewall and these four 12 wheels are actually from your um, brake booster, they're actually up underneath on the, on the inside of the firewall and you can scrap those because they already come with a brand new set so you can reuse them or whatever you want to do. What I'm doing, I'm just taking off the fuel filter just to give me a little bit of extra room. Got the booster out now, uh, our next step is we need to measure from here all the way up to the top of that so we'll do that now make it a bit easier you can use a ruler as well just so you can get it nice and flat just want to make sure I get it right one ninety two all right so now all I have to do is take that off and put all, put all this stuff onto the up, onto the U booster. 
But yeah, we'll get onto that now. That's done up where I need it. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a talk. So that's where I need it. Time to uh, put it back in. Helps if you've got a mate here. Uh, it's the only time you actually do need a, another person to uh, give your hand on it. Uh, and that's just to guide the, the actual ram in there to connect up to the pedal and put the pin through and put one, one nut on. Okay, you can see the bolts are, a few bolts have been put in. Oh, you can probably only see a couple of them. And also got the pin and the spring in, just there. All right, just off camera, a little bit of struggling and um, swearing. I uh, got her in. The uh, main problem, with the hard bit was the um, ABS bracket. If I ever did it again, I'd probably leave that off. That's a little hot tip there. All right, so that's all done up tight. Underneath is done up tight. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is to put the vacuum hose on. It's just here, it's slightly in a different spot. Put the hose clamp back in. Very easy using the Bulldogs. Uh, when I was manipulating the master cylinder, I was also pulled out the this plug, just made it a bit easier to move it around. It's not really that much room there, so I've done that. All right, last thing to do is just put the fuel filter back on. Another one of Tom's hot tips. If you're doing this and you've got one of the, um, say, PDP diesel, uh, Western filter, pre-filter kits where the filter sits here, just pull it off and put it off to the side for the while you're um, doing it up. Uh, while you're pulling it all out and putting it back in, it just makes life a little bit more easier. All right, so that's pretty much done. Uh, all that I have to do now is give the brake pedal a bit of a pump just to make sure it's at the right height, and then go down and do the uh, other brake test. So I'll do that now and we'll uh, speak soon. All right, so it's been about a month since I've had this brake booster installed. I've done one trip in it, and that was from the bush to the beach. And honestly, I can say that I loved it. Done a little bit of four-wheel driving with it as well, and it definitely held up in the high country. So therefore, I am going to get it engineered. I haven't done it just yet. I've uh, got a few other mods that I'm looking at doing that are going to need engineering as well, so I might as well just do them all at once just to save a bit of money. Anyway, if you enjoyed this install video, Give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe i'm thinking about doing a competition as well so keep a lookout for that uh first i've got to get in, in contact with them and see see if i can get one um obviously for free for you guys i'll pay full retail for this so there's definitely no biased opinion there anyway we'll call that a wrap and i'll see you on the next video cheers